A few months ago, Will Smith ran up on stage and slapped Chris Rock across the face for a comment he made. He immediately apologized during his acceptance speech for an award later that night. A lot of people feel, and I agree, that that really wasn't a good apology at all. Not unusual because it came right away. The next day or so, he apologized on social media for a second time. That one was a little better, but still had some missing pieces. And now, several months later, three months later, I believe, he's finally apologizing a third time. Now, keep in mind, sometimes it takes a couple of attempts to get an apology right, so he's not unusual in that way. We're going to take a look at his apology and see if it checks all the right boxes and also judge the extent to which we feel he is sincere. So a good apology does at least four things. First of all, the person apologizing names the mistake and takes full responsibility. Second, they apologize directly. They say the word, I apologize, or I'm sorry, and they express remorse for the harm they have caused. Third, they explain what they'll do to make it better, the corrective action that they can take to try to repair the harm that's been done. And the fourth step is they follow through on that apology. That's really how you know whether it's sincere or not. So keeping those tips in mind, those talking points in mind, let's take a look at Will Smith's apology. Why didn't you apologize to Chris in your acceptance speech? Um, I was fogged out by that point. It's, 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 it's all fuzzy. I've reached out to Chris, um, and the mesh, the message that came back is that, uh, he's not ready to talk. And when he is, he will reach out. Um, so I will, I will say to you, uh, Chris, I apologize to you. Uh, my behavior was unacceptable, and I'm here whenever you're ready to talk. Um, I, I want to apologize to Chris's mother. I saw an interview that Chris's mother did, and... You know, that was one of the things about that moment. I just didn't realize and, you know, I wasn't thinking, but how many people got hurt in that moment. So I want to uh, apologize to Chris's mother. I want to apologize to uh, Chris's family, uh, specifically Tony Rock. You know, we had a great relationship. You know, Tony Rock was my man. Um, and uh, this, this, is, this is probably irreparable. Um, I spent the last three months um, replaying and understanding the nuances and, and the complexities of what happened in, in that moment. Um, and I'm not gonna try to unpack all of that right now, but I can say to all of you, there is no part of me that thinks that was the right way to behave in that moment. There's no part of me that thinks that's the optimal way to handle a feeling of disrespect or or insults. So, so far, we are off to a pretty good start here. If you're asking me, I'm the one reacting to this. Does he seem authentic? I think he does. He does not seem like, for example, he's just reading off a teleprompter, some prepared statement that his public relations people have created for him. He's looking around. He's still searching for thoughts. He's speaking conversationally. It seems to me that he is speaking from the heart. He's also checking a lot of boxes that we mentioned at the beginning of the video about what a good apology looks and sounds like. He's accepting full responsibility for what he did. He's not pointing the finger at anybody. He's saying, you know, this was horrible. He really has seemed to come to terms, for the most part, with what he has done and the impact of that. He specifically said the words, I apologize. Not everybody does that. Some people swerve around it. 
But he did. He apologized to Chris, to Chris's mom and family, to Chris's brother, who it sounds like Will Smith is friends with. So he really is now saying, I apologize. And it sounds relatively heartfelt to me. I think we're off to a pretty good start here. And it looks like, as you can tell, I've watched this already once or twice, but he's going to apologize by using these questions that people have been asking. And he's using using those questions to structure this conversation. So let's go on and look at the next question. After Jada rolled her eyes, did she tell you to do something? No. Um, it's like, you know, I'm, I made a choice on my own, from my own experiences, from my history with Chris, Jada had nothing to do with it. Uh, I'm sorry, babe. Um, I would say sorry to my, my kids and, and my family for the heat that I brought on all of us. Um, to all my fellow nominees, you know, this is a community. It's like I won because you you voted for me. And it, it, it really breaks my heart to have stolen and and tarnished, tarnished your moment. Um, I can still see Quest Love's eyes. You know, it, it happened on Quest Love's uh, award. And, you know, it's like I'm I'm. I'm sorry really isn't sufficient. So here again, Smith's apology has a lot of qualities that we usually say a good apology should have. For example, he has a chance to pass the buck. A lot of people are asking this question. I wonder if Jade made him do it or said something to him. And he's saying, no, this was my choice. One of the key parts of a good apology is accepting full responsibility and not passing the buck, as we mentioned, saying I apologize. And here, he's also expressing a lot of remorse. He's saying, I really screwed this up. And it screwed it up for a lot of people. He's apologizing to his, his family. He's apologizing to the other nominees that night. The guy Quest Love, I think it was, who won the award that Chris Rock was supposed to be giving. I mean, that's he's realizing the full impact of this. He's done a lot of thinking about this. This is not someone that sounds like they're still in denial or someone who's trying to sugarcoat or smooth over, make it look like he didn't do something that bad. We call that minimization. He's not minimizing. He's really saying, look at all the ways, in fact, that I screwed this up and all the people it impacted. So this seems pretty authentic to me again on this question. He's still searching for words, thinking out loud almost, and really feeling the full weight of his mistake. So we're doing pretty well here. Let's take a look at the third question. What would you say to the people who looked up to you before the slap or people who expressed that you let them down? Um, so there's two things. One, um, disappointing people is my central trauma. Um, I hate when I let people down. Um, so it, it hurts. Uh, it hurts me psychologically and emotionally to know I didn't live up to uh, people's image and impression of me. And the work I'm trying to do is I am deeply remorseful and I'm trying to be remorseful without being ashamed of myself. Right. I'm human. And. I made a mistake and I'm trying not to think of myself as a piece of shit. Um, so I would say to those people, I know it was confusing. I know it was shocking. Um, but I, I promise you, I am uh, deeply devoted and committed to putting light and love and joy into the world. And, you know, if you, if you hang on, I promise we'll be able to be friends again. I really like that he answered this question worded this way. Now, this is the first time in any of his apologies where he has mentioned the word slap. The first apology during 
the Academy Awards, he didn't mention it. And in his social media posts, he just used the phrase, my behavior. This time, through this question, he acknowledges that he slapped Chris Rock. It's really hard for people to name the actual mistake in their apology, but he, he did. But more than that, he used this question about the loss uh, that his fans and the public felt in him. They might have looked up to him as a role model, and he really let them down. And he did. He, he let them down with, um, with what he did there. And essentially, he said, yeah, I screwed up, and I think it's one of the worst things that I could do to disappoint people and let people down. And it feels awful. Now, I really appreciate the fact that he added a detail that he said he's trying not to let this make him feel like his identity is a piece of crap. Because that tells me that's something that he is struggling with. In other words, this is three months later. He's probably been feeling pretty awful about himself all along. And everybody, you, me, Will Smith, everybody has to get to the place where they pick themselves up, no matter what harm they've caused, try to do the right thing, apologize, and not let it keep you down, not let it beat you down into the ground and sideline you for the rest of your life, for example. And he's saying his vow, his promise to the public, to his fans, is that he is going to basically, sounds like he wants to earn our trust back. He's going to do the best he can, and he wants to, quote, be friends again. I think that was an, uh, a really nice way to word it. So I think this was a great apology through and through. It Was it perfect? No. Was it flawless in every word choice and every way he might have said things. No, we could pick it apart, but I give him credit for coming out one more time and trying to get this apology right and put his best foot forward and move forward with his life, with his career. So uh, well done, Will Smith, on this. Now we'll see. The public, you, I, we all have a choice. If we're going to forgive him, so to speak, in our hearts to put this in the past as well and to try to look at him without thinking or dwelling too much on his mistake. So we'll see. Of course, I would love to hear your comments in that section of the video below. Looking forward to that. And suggest who else I should react to. I always appreciate your suggestions. I can't get to all of them, but I certainly take them seriously. So thanks, God bless, and I will see you all soon.